Welcome to Kevin at 7, where we help you find your superpowers. You can master getting yes without the BS. You want to make today powerful, you seize it. Most of our thinking is dangerous. It just is. Most of our thinking is toxic. Because it's our habit. And because it's the input that most of us get most of the time. Don't be toxic. You gotta protect yourself and insulate yourself from toxic thinking. Most of the people around you are gonna have toxic thinking. What is toxic thinking? Toxic thinking is a is thinking based on just flat out limiting beliefs or just negativity, pessimism, and all of that. It's our culture, it's just, it surrounds us, it's everywhere. What is toxic thinking? Think, toxic thinking is anything th thinking, any thoughts that you allow in your mind that does not move you toward your goals. Now, here's what happened to me this morning, and I'm just, this is, I was bummed. I was like, this whole conversation with you this morning is because I had to get my head out of the gutter, okay? That's what happened to me this morning. I had to get my head out of the gutter. I had something that happened last night that I, that I was not happy about and um, that yesterday evening and um, it just it's life it, it happens and you it's like okay got to deal with it but it was like kind of got me got me I was thinking about it this morning I'm like Ugh, I hate it when that happens and so I just like I just and so this morning I get up and I'm like every every morning I go run well this morning is, it's not only pouring rain here for us in LA in Southern California, we're not used to this rain, but it's also windy. So it's windy and rainy, and I'm like, I just I just don't feel like going and slogging for two or three miles through water, in my shoes and everything. I've got rain gear and all that, I can do it, and I've done it multiple times this week because it's been raining all week, but um, I just was like, I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna stay home and I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do stretching, I'm gonna do my breathing, I'm gonna do a workout here at the house. And so I got down on the floor to start doing my stretching and I'm listening to some a video um, by one of my mentors and I'm just, I don't know. I just got like down in the dumps. And I realized I was having like thoughts of, the, I was thinking about one of my dreams, okay? So I was thinking about one of my dreams and it was like, ah, oh, it's so hard. And that was the thought. It was just like, it's just so hard. And, and it just went downhill from there. I mean, it just, I went downhill this morning. So for those of you that wonder, you know, do you ever get to where you don't struggle with the toxic thinking? Probably not. Because we all have, there's the uncertainties, there's fears and so forth. And every time it happens, it just, I was so freaking irritated. And I'm like, I just don't even want to get up this morning. Now I'm, I'm sitting in our, my training room. I'm sitting on my workout mat and where I do my stretching and breathing and uh, a lot of my exercises and stuff. And I didn't want to get up. I just want to sit there, and I'm like, Grr. and uh, so I had I had a fairly unproductive morning. I shot my morning routine all to hell this morning. It just went to crap. I was just down, down like. Um, but here's here. So I I'm like, okay, I got to get out of this because I'm getting ready to do a live stream, Kevin at seven, and I'm like. I do not want to do a Kevin at 7 today. I don't even know what I'm going to talk about. I don't want to see you guys this morning because I'm embarrassed and I'm, in, I'm upset at myself. So I just went back to my bookshelf and I just grabbed books, okay? And I'm like, okay, what books do I need right now? So I grabbed The Magic of Thinking Big and The Strangest Secret by Earl Nightingale. So here is the, the message for you today because I got to believe that some of you are feeling what I'm feeling this morning, or if you're not feeling it this morning, you feel it at times and you need this. So number one, think big. Stop thinking small. What was happening was I was thinking really big this morning and I was going with my thoughts, pursuing a dream and just kind of visualizing it and it got scary and I'm like, okay, that's too much work. It's too expensive. It's too, it's too big and I'm like, so I kind of stopped myself and then I'm, wait a second. I've created little things in my life, little successes, and I've had big successes in my life. And the big successes weren't any harder than the little successes. And I'm, and I'm thinking about thinking big, and I'm like, you know what? It takes no more effort to think big than it does to think small. It takes no more effort to believe big than it does to believe bad, to believe small, to believe it ain't going to work out. You guys understand that? 
thinking big does not burn more calories, doesn't wear you out faster, but it's a lot more fun, okay? As President Trump used to say before he became president and made everybody mad, he used to say, you have to think anyway, so you might as well think big. And then the second book I pulled out was The Strangest Secret, Secret by Earl Nightingale, which is actually just a transcript of the audio recording he did called The Strangest Secret, which you can find on YouTube for free. And this is really good stuff. This is a good stuff. I mean, guys, like, look at this. I just thumped through this. So he says, uh, where did I see? Two? Here it is. An outstanding medical doctor recently pointed out six steps that will help you realize success. Okay? I wasn't going to share these, but um, here we go. An outstanding medical doctor that pointed out six steps that will help you realize success. Number one, set yourself a definite goal. Number two, quit running yourself down. See, that happens. And I... And, and, and somebody will say, well, you're running yourself down this morning because you said you got into a funk. Right, but I'm teaching, okay? And, and part of it, when I acknowledge it, okay, when I acknowledge it, I'm, I am conditioning myself to reject it. Anyway, different, that's a different conversation. Like, number three, stop thinking about all the reasons why you cannot be successful and think of the reasons you can be successful. Think different. Don't, don't think why it can't be done. Think why it can be done. Number four, trace your attitudes back through your childhood and discover where you first got the idea that you could not be successful if that is the way you've been thinking. What happened that made you think you couldn't do something big? And here's what it probably was. For me, it was hearing stuff like, well, um, rich people just are greedy. They're materialistic. They're worldly which was totally, totally in conflict with the values that I was brought up with, okay? Being rich was like it's, it, um, money is the root of all evil. That belief completely made, you, made it impossible for, that gave me an attitude that made it impossible to have a lot of money to be able to, and to, with that money to be able to serve a lot of people. Number five, change the image you have of yourself by writing out a description of the person you would like to be, i.e. daily declarations. I am the best. Now look, here's where I was going to go today. Let me, number six, act the part of a successful person you've decided to become. Do it until you become it. Not fake it till you make it. You do it until you become it. It's not fake. It's real. It's you becoming something. But here's the, here's the, here's the secret, okay? The secret of the strangest secret. The secret is you become what you think about. You become what you think about. That's what you become. Okay? You become what you think about. So here's the deal. Now I've got to think about myself. What do I think about myself? I have two choices. There was a book written years ago that I think d damaged um, our culture. And it was a book called I'm Okay, You're Okay. Oh, it's your favorite book. I know some of you, it's like, I love that book. That book had a message in it that sucks. I'm okay, you're okay. I'm okay, you're okay. Now, let me challenge, I'm gonna, cause I'm gonna challenge it. All right, which is, takes more effort to think I'm okay. I'm an okay person. I'm okay. I'm an average person. I'm no better than anybody else. I am, you know, average. I'm okay. Or to say, I am the best. I am the best. I am the best. I am the best. Which takes more effort to think? Either one. It takes the same effort to believe, to think, I'm okay. I'm just an average Joe. I'm just an average Kevin. There's nothing special about me. And when I think that, what, what am I going to do when I run up to something that somebody else can't do or when somebody else says that's impossible, then because they're just like me, I'm no better than them, they're okay, I'm okay. So if they say it's not possible, then it must not be possible, so therefore I have to believe what average people believe. You guys understand what I'm saying here? You have to believe what average people believe. And when you do that, you're going to get average results. 
average thinking creates average results. Okay thinking creates okay results, which is basically tantamount to surviving. In a world where there's so much abundance, so much opportunity, and you're just trying to stay alive and survive, like I'm just trying to be comfortable, how, how many days in your life have you not been comfortable? I mean, like where you were not physically taken care of. And the answer is for most of you, none. Right? Just the way it goes. I'm okay, you're okay. Well, frankly, I think all of you at worst are okay, but I think okay sucks. See, I don't accept you the way you are behaving right now. Like, I accept you just the way you are. I don't. I mean, I'll accept you the way you are, but I am not okay with you staying the way you are. Because the way you are is living into about 2% of your potential. And I think you're playing too small. I think I play too small my whole life. I'm over 50 years old, and for 50 years, I have 48 years, I played too small. I reinvented myself. I started the process of reinventing myself when I jumped out of an airplane, <laughs> went skydiving with my, at the time, girlfriend, my wife, Julie, and just facing one of my greatest fears, which was the fear of heights, and facing it and crushing it and going like, I will never let fear stop me again. I will fight for my dreams and I will stand up for my dreams and I'm worth it. And the dreams are worth it. And nobody's going to talk me out of it. Nobody's going to, nothing's going to stop me. And I think it's pretty cool. Think big. <laughs>